would. We wolves would like to go down to the lake, watch the girls in the uh, bay at the moon. <laughs> Red Riding would enter the cottage and said, Granny, I brought you 
my child, that I might see you. Why, Grandma, what big eyes you have! You forget, my dear, that I'm optically challenged. <laughs>
I wanted to take this chance and tell you a little bit about the place that sent them. Huntington College. Huntington College, what a place, what a place. Uh, Huntington is a Christian liberal arts college owned and operated, you ought to know, by the United Brethren in Christ Church. Uh, it's been around for 100 years. In fact, this October we kick off a year-long celebration of that exact fact, a centennial. Uh, to know that for 100 years, Huntington has been committed to training young men and women, just like the All-Stars, for service to Christ and the creation. A uh, very strong legacy and a wonderful history to know that that has occurred. Uh, I myself have been around Huntington now for nine years. And, uh, <laughs>
Man, don't sell them for a lot of money, please. Be modest about that. Right? And if you do, send some to us. But if you can take that home, uh, on the flip side is our itinerary. Uh, please take that home and pray for us. Um, uh, it has taken us seven weeks now. We know that prayer has taken us that far. Uh, well, enough said. We, have, we know a specific time where if people were not praying, uh, things would not have turned out the way they, they did. Um, so please do. We still have many miles to travel and many shows to do. Uh, we have yet to go down to Kentucky, a new territory for us. And uh, I, don't know, we're all, I don't know, I guess through Ohio and Indiana and back. Uh, please do be faithful about it. Pray for safety and for health. And then also pray for those poor souls who, like you, who really didn't know what they were getting into. So, um, uh, the other thing we're going to ask you to do is to uh, be generous tonight. Uh, we'd like to have you be a part of what we do financially. Um, it, it, I'm sure you can imagine, I don't know if you can or not, but the considerable amount of investment this takes uh, on the part of the college. And so we are uh, dependent on you all for for providing for this. Um, I'm sure you are like me uh, and feeling strong about seeing 11 men and women traveling throughout the summer proclaiming who they believe in, and that Jesus Christ provides a, a whole new world and uh, the wonderful life that, that is. Um, so if so, please give generously. If you'd like to write a check out, uh, we encourage you to do that. Make it out to Huntington College. In the, in the middle area, make it out to the All-Stars. Uh, and hey, if you, if you can't get tonight, don't worry about that. Uh, there are people here who will make up the difference for you. We're just glad that you were here. Thanks for turning out. What a great crowd. You guys packed the place. That's the way you like. Uh, make sure it's fun. Uh, Checkbook and take theirs. <laughs> uh, they've got some buckets somewhere back there, Andy, to help us out on the piano. Um, we're going to have the lights up uh, somehow, uh, whoever can get to those lights. Um, uh, I'd ask you to join me in a word of prayer and hang tight until we can get out in the center aisle and, and then we'll meet you on the line. Our wonderful, wonderful Lord, we have no problem proclaiming that to you. You are so great. You are so awesome. Um, thanks for everything. Thanks for the night. Thanks for the people who came out, God. Thanks for the chance to be able to have a party and to be able to talk about you and to celebrate what you've done for us and, and boy, what you've called us to, to do for you and to do for each other. Um, we ask your blessing on everybody who's here, God. In your wonderful name, amen.
it's another one that has a lot of things that probably don't make a lot of sense to you, but it's really pretty fun anyway, so I hope you like it. This is Dewey.
by our love. And if you love, you can do for love. Be good. Boy, that just smiled. Can you do it? Can you smile for Grandpa? He's waving. He was smiling. Yep. Get old dad here. And grandma. Oh. Don't get grandma. Wait till I lose another 25 pounds. Sammy. <laughs> Sammy. What are you doing? Sit. Sit.
See, I had Grandpa Fool too. Ryan. Uh, what? Hey, Ryan. Hi. Uh, Hi there. Here's a Cheerio. Show them how you can eat a Cheerio. Say hi. <coughs> How do you phase it out? Just shut it off. Just shut it off? Sure. By hitting the record again? Ryan!
You're tuned in to Cable Channel 42, your 24-hour travel station. Up next, Travel Talk with Uncle Troy. <laughs>
second travel tip for the day deals with that all-important issue of food. What else for dinner? <laughs> in addition to learning how to speak the language, it's also very important to be prepared for some of the native foods. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Give me another big slab of that delicious casserole. Oh. Now that is a mistake any visitor could make. It's not casserole. But after a week or two of study, most people will think you've lived in Minnesota all your life, and so will you. Hot dish. Hot dish. Hot dish. A traditional Minnesota main course, hot dish is cooked and served in a single baking dish, and commonly appears at family reunions and church get-togethers, although, it can grace any table. If it doesn't look like anything you've ever seen before, it's probably hot dish. <laughs> Boy, this is marshmallows and jelly. What a great dessert. Oh. <laughs> Salad. 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 Never call it dessert. The jello salad consists of jello. Hand fruit, miniature marshmallows, and a dollop of cool. Boy, pass me some more of that. I love marshmallows and my poor chocolate and mashed potatoes. But besides the hot dish and jello salad, Minnesota is most famous for the Hormel Meat Packing Company and that all time favorite culinary treat, Spam! <laughs>
great time. We know it's going to be even better, though, because you all are going to be a part of it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, all right, but you all seem like a bunch of fun-loving folks. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right?
protecting you, fair damsel, from the ravages of a forest, from raging forest fire, from the savage beast, from the horny toad. <laughs>
composed the award-winning Broadway musical, <coughs> The Woods, The Mighty Forest Rangers, and the lovely Lanka Squads will now perform several songs from that dazzling show. <laughs> The best the things make the potion go to the festival. To the woods without regret, the choice is made, the task is set. Into the woods, but not forgetting why you're on the journey. Into the woods to get, I wish I don't care how the time is now. Into the woods to sell the cow. Into the woods to get the money. Into the woods to lift the spell, make the potion go to the festival. Into the woods to carry the stars. Into the woods to carry the
praise the Lord with the rip. Rip it. <laughs> it's not that easy being free. And we spend each day the color of the When it seems there would be so much in the nation. It's beautiful.
you are. And how beautiful is the world you create for our habitation. Even before man was brought forth from the dust, you created a place for him to live and to grow. And everything that man saw about him reflected the beauty and the power of the living God. Oh Lord, how full of wonder and splendor you are. Let all the earth praise God. All of nature shouts the greatness of God. Yay, God! The forest is a cathedral of praise. Tall pines reaching to the heavens. Clear lakes reflecting the star-studded sky. Delicate wildflowers springing forth with radiant light. Furry creatures, large and small, all part of God's miracle of creation. The birds sing their sweet songs of praise. Ha 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 ha! The bears growl the greatness of God. The beavers clap their tails in celebration. Let everything that has breath praise God. The birds. The bears. The beavers. Nobody. The bullfrogs. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let every breath of my body and every beat of my heart bring praise and glory to our God. Thank you. 
family. Okay, and I'm going to tell you just what I tell everybody else. Okay, uh, it's, first of all, don't spend a lot of dough. Right? You spend a lot of dough, folks, you're just throwing your money away. Do what I did, all right? Just sort of go through your house and find a few things, everyday household items, and you'll find you can communicate more friendly and more effectively. Uh, let's start off with what I got around my coop here. Here is just a regular little child's bike or no game, nothing really fancy or special, but let's give a listen to it. Okay, all right, there's a lot of laughs there, okay, who can be riding up and down that sidewalk and everything, but you know, through the depressed flat belly of those platypus out there is a sound of complete depression. Well, let's give a listen with some different ears.
like, I'm not married, I'm Matt, you know, they that Mary. I am Mary. And who are the rest of the lovely maids? Well, there's Maid in Taiwan, <laughs> Maid uh, Milky, and Alice, the Brady's maid. Well, what do you like to do here, Joe and Forrest? Well, most of them like to rob from the rich, but lately it's been a pretty slow season. You know, just a few gold coins here, ruby rings there, mostly small stuff. Well, what are you looking for? Well, we'd like to pull in a couple of nice sleeper sofas, perhaps a lazy boy rich one. And a 35 inch color television wouldn't be bad either. Oh, yeah. We like to watch Friends and Seinfeld, but it's tough for all of us to gather around the seven inch black and white in the glade. But most of all, we just like hanging around together. <laughs> That's the way it should be. Yeah. 
demonstrate the importance of brotherhood. Listen to Paul's final greetings as he concludes his letter to the Romans, as he salutes many of the people who walked alongside him. I commend to you our sister Phoebe, for she has been a great help to many people, including me. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my fellow workers in the Lord. They risked their lives for me. My good friend Eponidas. Mary, who worked very hard for you. Greet Ampliatus, whom I love in the Lord. Urbanus, our fellow worker in Christ, and my dear friend Stakes. Apels, tested and approved in Christ. Greet those in the household of Aristobulus. And those in the household of Narcissus. Greet Tryphena and Tryphosa, two women who worked very hard in the Lord. Greet my dear friend Persis, who's also worked very hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother, who's been a mother to me, too. Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermes, Patrobus, Hermes, and the brothers with them. Philologus, Julius, Nereus, Olympus, and all the saints with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. <laughs> Dave Pels, my youth pastor, who showed me what it means to be a man in Christ. For Marlene Schleifer, one of my music professors, who gave me the love I needed to bring into full time for my family and me. For my roommate and best friend Mindy, whose strength helped get me through my freshman year of college. For my wise and sensitive mother, who's protected and guided me. For my loving and supportive grandparents, who protected me, encouraged me, and keep me company on my walk through the woods. For Mrs. Beale, Sam and Sandy Smith, for Floyd Payne. Jeanette Davidson. Our lives are full of people who walk beside us. We belong to a great big brotherhood of man. I feel a song coming up. Now you may join the elves, my friend, and you may join the Shriners. And other men may carry cards as members of the diners. Still others wear 